Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make a shape calculator app. So let's begin with today's video. In today's video, we are going to make shape calculator. So in that app, we are having some of the shapes like rectangle, square, circle and triangle. With the help of these shapes, we used to calculate the area and the perimeter. So let me show you how I have designed and coded. So in the designing, you have to go and you have to take images. Let me show you how I have taken. So first of all, I will drag an image on the screen. Then what I'm going to do is just click on the choose option. And here are the images. Now. If you don't know how to upload image, just do first of all, you have to download the images from pla other platforms and then you have to click on the upload file. Then if I selected this one. Now it is successfully uploaded. So this one is this when I will click on the choose option, it is going to come on the screen. OK, so this one is for the rectangle so the id is image 5 which is 160 pixel then height is 120 pixel x position is 5 pixel then y position is 15 download uh, this is the image address or you can also uh, like copy the image address and you can paste suppose if i will search here uh, i can search here triangle triangle image okay, here is the uh, image triangle image okay so just click on the images now suppose I have uh, taken this red one so what I'm going to do is I will just click on the copy image address then I will be able to paste it on the image option here okay now the fit image is fill I will make it fill then the border width is 0 border color is black and border radius is 0 pixel now moving on to the next is that one is a square so in the square the ID is image 6 width is 130 height is 105 pixel X position is 190 Y position is 25 then here I have taken the image address Okay, now I will do here fit image as fill. Okay, so this is the properties. So let's move on to the next image that is circle. So here I have written image 7 and then width is 175 pixel, height is 160, x position is 10 pixel, y position is 220 and here is the image and the fit image should be fill. Now border width is 0 and the border color is RGB black this one and then the border radius is 0. Let's moving on to the next one that is triangle. So the ID is image 8 width is 125 height is 175 and the X position is 195 Y position is 250. Here is the image address and fit image is fill now the border width is 0 pixel border color is black border radius is 0 pixel moving on to the next screen that is circle screen okay I'm gonna tell you a trick first of all let me explain you this one screen first of all I have taken a label for what are the instructions that we have to put it for getting the result okay so in the label, I have written enter the length of a circle and remember to only enter length in numbers. We have to only enter the numbers, not like alphabets or any symbol. Okay, so for this, we have uh, taken this label for explaining the user that you have to only put the numbers. Okay, now I have taken the uh, text input. Let me tell you the properties of the 
image uh, sorry label so label 6 id and here is the text enter the length of side circle length okay now the width is 310 height is 130 pixel x position is 5 y position is 15 text color is black or we can also change the text color like suppose if i want to change the i've changed in the red one okay the background color is transparent the font family is comic and the font size is 23 text alignment is left border width is zero border color is uh, gray i think yeah and the border is zero pixel now i'm going to take a text input in the text input id is text input 7 placeholder is used for the hint that what you have to uh, write in the text input so here enter your length here width is 250 pixel height is 45 x position is 35 pixel y position is 135 text color is gray now the background color is transparent font family is comics font size is 18 text alignment is left border width is 1 pixel and the border radius is 4 pixel now here we are taking a button now the id is circle button text is calculate width is 100 height is 40 x position is 120 now the y position is 215 text color is white background color is pink uh, the font family is comic font size is 19 text alignment center and rest all the things are same now here i have taken a label and that label i have changed the little bit so id is label 7 then the text is area which is 101 height is 35 uh, 31 then x position is 20 y position is 290 text color is gray background color is transparent then the font family is comic font size is 26 and other things we are not going to change then be careful here i have taken a label one more label in that label there is uh, the label is blank because here we are going to take the result of the area and in the perimeter also okay so here it is now in the label 9 the text is blank width is 180 pixel height is 70 x position is 135 y position is 280 text color is gray background color is transparent font family comic then the font size is 26 then rest all things are already same in the area and in the perimeter all the things are same only the text is different so here this uh, the both of the things are same you can make it copy and paste or you can uh, take the ids and then you can see so this is the back button where we can when we are going to click on this back button it is going to navigate to the main screen so here is id is button a text is ba uh, back width is 100 height is 40 x position is 35 y position is 405 text color is white then the background color is purple font family comic and rest of the things are same so what i'm going to do is in the square screen and in the circle screen both are the screens are same we have to only just to change a little bit changes so what i'm going to uh, do is you can just duplicate the whole screen with the help of this duplicate button when you are going to click on the duplicate button you can see here is a duplicated circle screen to screen one okay so you, uh, this much i have done now so like this you can uh, delete the uh, sorry now you can duplicate the screen so in the square screen the all the things are same only what you have to change is enter the length of the square in that there was a little circle only this much a little bit change and in the calculate you have to change the id as square button rest all the things are same let's move on to the rectangle screen in the rectangle screen also you have to just to duplicate it 
and then after that you have to just take a one more text input because in that uh, in the rectangle you have to change the length and breadth okay so the calculate button id should be rectangle button and the same in the triangle only you have to change the triangle id okay let's move on to the code so on event image six place means when we are going to click on the square one so set screen to square screen now on event when a square button click so here is the calculate button when we are going to click is set set the text to label nine whatever we are going to this calculate it is going to set to the area means the label nine okay so here is the label nine now you have to you have to know that what is the formula of a square square area of a square is side into side so when whatever we are going to write in this text input that is going to be multiplied if you are going to write 3 so it is going to multiply and it is the answer will be 3 into 3 that is 9 so like this i have taken a multiplication block from the match then i have taken get text to get text and in that get text i have written text input 3 this one is okay now the second one is for the perimeter perimeter the square perimeter is uh, side in no four into side okay so like this we have done here written a get text text input three then it multiplied by four now we have taken the button four that is back button which we, is going to navigate to the main screen now let's move on to the uh, main screen and here it is now when image 7 click mean when we are going to click on the circle screen it is going to navigate to the circle screen when we are going to click on the image 7 that is circle it is going to navigate to the circle screen now here is the circle button when we are going to click then set the label to label 19 and this is the whole code for these area and perimeter of a square so let me show you how i have done first of all i have to take a set text block in that set text i have to write label 19 let me take it label 19 okay here is the label 19 now you have to do is first of all you have to take a multiplication block okay you have to take a multiplication block so i have taken here now what to do is in that multiplication block you have to take a division block and inside this one you have to take this block now here i am going to write 22 divide, uh, divided by 7 then get text and like this i have done okay at the same the text input 20 is also here 22 divided by 7 multiplied by 2 then multiplied by the text input 7 that is the length of the circle okay when this button is clicked uh, it is going to navigate to the main screen let's move on to the main screen and when image 8 click like when we are going to click on the triangle screen it is going to navigate when we are going to click on the image 8 it is going to set the screen to the triangle screen let's move on to the triangle screen so when triangle button click when this calculate button click so it is going to set the text of for the area as label 14 that is get text 5 into 3 it is going to multiply it by 3 okay now we are going to also write in the both one first of all in the label 5 is going to multiply it by 3 then we are going to have the area for the perimeter we have to take 1 by 2 multiplied by get text multiplied by get text so these both are going to multiply it by 1 by 2 and okay so here we are going to have the answer now when we are going to click on the button 6 it is going to navigate to the main screen let's do move on to the main screen when this image 5 click set screen to rectangle screen then here is the rectangle screen when we are going to 
click on this rectangle button it is going to set the text to the label 4 that is that both are the going to multiplied by each other label text input 1 and text input 2 in the parameter here is the parameter the formula of parameter is uh, 2 multiplied by get text plus get text text input 2 so this is the formula and when we are going to click on the back button that is button 2 it is going to set the screen to the main screen so let me show you how the app looks like so i have clicked here now let me write here 21 and 20 so i'm clicking here now the perimeter of both is coming let's see the square one calculate here 4 and 8 in the circle let me write 2 so here is the answer and in the triangle one 2 and in this one is 5 let me calculate it so this is the answer so our app is working perfectly i have also renamed it like shape calculator and hope you guys enjoyed the video if yes give it a big thumbs up and if you have not joined my telegram group do join my telegram group i will soon meet in my next video till that take care and bye bye Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake